Yao. Yeah, Yao. Yeah, yeah, Yao. 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 Yeah, yeah, Yao. Good was good was good. What it do, though? I go by the undeniable name of Damo. Never been a lame mo. There is no that boy Barry. Podcast killer, a.k.a. Podcast Poppy, a.k.a. The Pop Father. This is Willow Wednesdays. There ain't no that boy Barry, so I'm going to be a mediator, moderator, roll call, selective snitcher. No, I'm not a selective snitch, but you already know what the fuck going on. It's a long-ass intro. Guess what? We here. He not. You is. Let's turn up. How was your week, though, brother? Uh, it was cool, man. Nothing too crazy happened this week, man. Just work. Just work. Just work. Just work. Just work, literally, work, work, work. You, you need, you need a healthy work life balance. You doing I some more definitely work. do, man. Definitely do. I only have time to work and then come home, make some beats, and then psh, it's bad time, bro. You get vacation time over there. I will eventually, but Jeez. you the new dude. They don't give you shit. You need to get some vacation time, brother. Yeah. Shit. Well, my week was amazing. I ain't gonna hold you. That's I mean, what my my week was fire. I was in New York. I came back here. I mean, so the fam and let, all that. It was, it was, it let, was let, a let. beautiful thing. I do, I do have a gripe. Um, we gotta find consistent barber shops in Atlanta, and I don't need to drive thirty thousand miles to go to the barber. Like, what's up with that? Yeah, bro, I'm hurting, man. And this, this shit, this shit. I've never in my life had to deal with um, hurting barbers. I like this, like everybody keeps suggesting people, and I'll be like, I don't trust your suggestions, fam. Like I don't, bro. bro I don't, I don't trust I, nobody. Shit. Like I nobody got bar- no. Bro, I, I went, I went to, I went to a barber shop that was like inside of a chicken spot. That was like, why the fuck would I get my hair cut here? Ah. And then I went to the the, the dope shit. What a cool shit! It's one in Midtown. It's coolest shit like the feng shui and the haircut was 55 dollars bro 55 dollars 55 dollars and he made you pay first they could smd bro i'm not paying 55 dollars right. for no haircut and he made me pay first though what is see, but, right? uh, see but that's that's another thing why, why would i pay for the services first okay maybe down here they used to people skipping out on them i don't know but i'm not about to give you my bread and then you just give me any kind of cut right no, he like, oh, don't worry, fam. I'm gonna hook it up. Nah, bro, I'm I'm gonna worry because I don't nah, know bro. you. Nah, bro. Yeah, I I don't, I don't like that. I, I need to speak it. to the to the governor, the mayor of of Georgia. Killer Mike, where's he at? Matter of fact, he yeah. got barbershops. Where's he got a barbershop. barbershop. His barbershop is on. Um, it's a few of them. Bro, we was we was by the barbershop when we went to the um, the, the Harold Chicken spot. What what what? Oh, oh, oh yeah yeah yeah. yeah. His barbershop's on that same strip. Oh, well, shit. All right. Matter of fact. Like on the same, like, literally, like, two seconds away from where we was at. That's where his barbershop is. All right. I can look that up. But I don't trust that either. <laughs> because every suggestion I got, nobody mentioned his barbershop. <laughs> so, yo, that's true. Don't nobody be like, yo, you should go to Killer Mike's spot. Yeah. Not nah, one I'm, person says that. Not one person has told me that. I'm good. Yo, imagine mm-hmm. if he's a whack barber. I, but is he the barber or does he just no, he, own he is a barber but i'm just saying imagine He's if the like, barber? His stop his trash like i'm not gonna hold you killer mike can't cut my hair i'm I'm sorry <laughs> like i nah i don't know i don't know like how would you feel about that you walk in and, and i'm a super and, fan i'm a super fan i i do it you can mess imagine, me up i'll be happy you walk in and ti like hey, what's up brother come here <laughs> i feel like <laughs> You're not cutting my hair, bro. I'm sorry. Hey, I'll be with it. Even if you fuck up, I'll be happy. Yo, nah. T.I. fuck my cut up, nigga. <laughs> nah. But see, you, bro, you got a baldy. You can yeah. do that. You're yeah. not fucking me up. Nope. Yeah, I, that would be mm-hmm. hilarious, though. Imagine, though, T.I. Killer Mike fuck your head up, bro. That's, nah, the, that's bro. the story. <laughs> nah, my, my, my haircut got ramifications if yeah. you mess my shit up. Like, you might get my album. Like, nah, fuck your album. You fucked up my haircut. <laughs> Yeah, about man, uh, single. Can you cut a single line, nigga? <laughs> nah, they they need, listen. Crazy. Long long story short, down here needs to get it together with the barbers. I, do. I don't know. I don't like I it. Don't, I don't like it one bit. And I just don't trust it. Like you say, they you don't know if it's the hood spot that's good or the bougie spot. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm I'm just not paying sixty dollars for a haircut. I'm sorry. I'm from New York, bro. That's 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 that. I, I would never. 
The Dominicans just started charging 25. That's what I'm trying to say. Remember that? They was like 12 or 15 or something crazy. Bro, I, I used to, I've, I've got my hair cut by the same Dominican dude for the past decade, and the shit was $20, and that's including tip. That's it. And my shit was elite. That's I it. come down here, and niggas is talking about $58, $58.50. Where, where, who carries change? You know what? I'm, I'm over it. I'm over it. Um, Listen, man, let's talk about some shit, though. What's up? What's goody? What's goody, man? What's goody? Yo, a lot of shit happened this week, bro. Yes. Finally. Um, a lot of shit happened this shit. week. Finally. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Musically, you 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 on you you up on Summer Walker? Uh, I was listening to it. You heard it? Yeah. How do you how do you feel about the subject matter and, and the, 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 the the songs? <sighs> She's all right. She's just all right to me. Like I I'm can't do so, it like so, okay so you're not you're not a, a big summer i'm not a super fan. i'm not a super fan but i think she's i think she's an amazing artist and i like her craft but i'm like this ain't nothing i haven't heard like i don't ever hear nothing i've never heard before i mean i heard some shit i ain't heard before a little bit yeah i mean i heard a couple of different angles i i ain't never heard nobody come at somebody mom like that before that's true that was that was pretty that's true different but you know i'm from the r kelly camp so i've heard r. Kelly is, about everybody my thing is, she 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 was talking about London. Obviously, we know that right. London on the track is a super producer in the, right. the, the music industry. Mm -hmm. He also produced like seven of the records on that album. Mm -hmm. Who wins? Mm. Because I kind of I'm, I'm making money on the music that you selling, and right. I produce I produce these records. So am I really that mad? You might be airing out some shit, but <laughs> I'm getting paid. So how do I feel? You be all right. I don't know. It's 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 a weird thing for me. I don't know. The, the whole the whole time I'm because I I'm I'm still the music guy. I still go look at the credits and who wrote it and all sure. this and all that. Like, I like doing that shit. And when I see his name all over it, I'm like, well, hmm. right. It's a dis it's a disc record, but I Is produce it. Really? it. It's so <laughs> how you gonna produce your own disc record? I mean, to, for for money, Brett, money because yeah, he's getting he, he's getting paid. I know, but. I don't believe it. I think it's a it's they probably teamed up. There's like, oh, we're gonna do some controversial shit. I don't think she writes. Does she write? I don't think she writes. I don't know. I don't know if she writes. You see, I I, I don't want to take away from her. I, I'm I a Summer Walker fan, so yeah. I actually I actually like Summer Walker. And she look good too. Yes, very. Oh. I was nervous. I was nervous because you know everybody got their sophomore slump. Right. I thought she was gonna fall the fuck off a cliff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm so glad that this project. Wasn't that? Mm. But I heard I, a new I, Ari Lennox song too that I was like, hmm, okay. Now nah, she but, she's dope too. Yeah. But yo yo, if, if we talking R and B, the 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 women, the women in R and B, Honestly, Jesus, it's, it's he here. Is making a nice little comeback right now, bro. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm proud. I was I'm talking proud. shit, you know, but I gotta admit, R and B right now is doing this thing. Listen, I'm proud. Ari Lennox, Scissor, fucking um, Summer. Yeah, no, good, good you stuff. You got man. Janae. I know I'm missing somebody. Sorry for being disrespectful, but all y'all, the, yeah, the whole, the whole. Oh, the whole um, thing, man. her. Have you heard her? her? Fucking her. We got Tink uh, flowing around. Did you hear her album though? Yes, a few months ago it, it was out. Yes. Now it's a couple months, but bruh. Listen, the, the R and B. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like it. I like it. I yeah, like that's, it that, that's on the music tip. I, I just say that because we don't talk about music enough. Um, but that album was interesting. Well, if we talk in music, I was trying to you know hold off, but we got to get into this Kanye man. Oh, we gotta talk about Kanye. Gotta talk about Kanye, bro. Gotta talk. About, well, no, it's not Kanye no more. It's Ye. Oh, my bad. Don't I don't know who the hell that guy is. No, don't no, disrespect no. that man's name. His name yeah. is Ye. Ye. All right, no first um, name, no last name, just Ye. So, I just want to start off by saying, I made a post today, and I thought it was hilarious, but it's true. Like now that Ye didn't said it, I've never seen Talib Kweli without a damn hat on, bro. <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo. <laughs> nigga, and I tried to Google it. I was nah, like, he, yo, he came at Talib Kweli's <laughs> life, bro. <laughs> He said, but, but you know what? You know, okay. Let, let me let me rephrase that. He didn't come at Kwali. He pretty much was just saying, don't don't put comment in no conversation. 
like that. Like common, common is like up here and quality is not there. So don't violate. Yes. Common. So I, I respect that conversation. I respect oh, it. Bro. I don't think I don't think he disrespected Quali, but no, 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 no. He was just coming to Kali about that. that ha- he was just being, you know, how you just talk about somebody, but when, when you got a joke, it's a little yeah, joke. yeah, yeah. That ain't even they, he wasn't seriously, but but I tried to tell you, man, you always be talking shit about common, bro. You well, but, but we, we, well, we 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 have to come be on now. Common, come on now. Common, common was a resonating like that in New York. I'm sorry. So if yeah, that was right. if it's a Chicago I, I don't care. Thing. Hey, whether you resonate or not, I don't care. What I'm trying to say yeah. is you see. The same way how the greats respect him, you notice, you see the people. Well, talk we can't about say we can't say the greats respect him. We have what one individual. About? We have one. Okay, let me go. We have one individual here who put him above Talib Kweli. He also didn't say Common was on his level. Well, he don't so, say nobody uh, on his level. <laughs> it's yeah, come does. on, bro. No, he does because he said it when they were talking about the verses. Who he verse? And he was like, he okay, said, so, Drake. He's on his level, but and you know. Jay Z, he's had a couple people, bro. But he don't even look at Jay Z like that. Well, at least is what he said. So he um, said that's my boss, which means Hove is the goat. That's that end of that conversation. It don't matter. At the end of the day, put some respect on common name. I mean, listen, I, I I don't disrespect once again. Common. Put some respect I, on my favorite. I do not disrespect common. I have one knock against common, and I feel like that stands, and nobody can't take that shit from me. His right. albums is wild born. That's that. Fuck yeah. you if you think otherwise. Sometimes, he Sometimes. got some. Really, his yeah, he, album, got some, he got some really boring ones. Like he do. Bro, like he do. I can't. Like I, sleepers. Like put lie. you to sleep. Can't lie. One hundred percent. Like I have to cut it off, and I just have to ride on the fact that I like the guy. <laughs> thank, thank you. That's that, but that's that's my knock. That's I never said Common can't rap. I never said he can't write. His albums is boring. That's that. Yeah. Like sorry. Over the whole, like he has albums that's not boring. But the whole pantheon of common albums, and he on like album fifteen, yeah, bro. Majority of these albums are pretty boring. Pantheon is a great word. I don't know what it means fully, but it sounded good. If that the means gamut. that his shit is boring, the full I'll gamut. take it. The full. If that means that his shit is boring, I'll take it because <laughs> that nigga no, shit. I, I can admit that. I can admit that. You know, it's my only knock. But nah, that the, the quality shit was funny. That was um, I. Did you? I I love this interview so much, and this really is the best interview. That the people have had in years. I'm not gonna lie. I hate that Fat Joe be dragging stuff because you know Fat Joe had a, the, the tendency to drag stuff when he yeah. doing his little moments. And he was Respect. like, "I'm not gonna lie to you." He was talking to uh, Nori. Mm-hmm. He was like, "Best interview in ten years." No, but uh, to be and honest, I was like, "Is he dragging this?" And I was he's like, not, "He's not dragging it." No, no, this is probably the best interview. I years, bro. I was so interested the whole time. Mm-hmm. And I now have okay. So we we spoke about Kanye numerous times on this of platform. Of course, we've of spoken course. about his his outbursts, his mm-hmm. his his. But to get a two hours plus, just something that we can dissect, and it, and it's, it's candid. Yes, and it was black. Yes, because like, he did three hours with Joe Rogan, but. It's Joe Rogan. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So the questioning is different. You know, it's not a... It wasn't us. Yeah. And... It wasn't barbershop talk. I was so proud of Nori. Nori, shut no, up. No, no, no. If you notice, he checked himself a couple times. He's like, oh, shit, my bad, my bad, my bad. Go ahead, go ahead. Like, he Bro, checked himself. The best interview I've ever seen Nori do. He was on point. He wasn't drunk as shit. I mean, but he kind of had to because because who was sitting in front of him? He's like, he's like he's like I can't fuck this bag up. <laughs> like you fuck that bag up. It's like, all right, bro. What's up with you, dog? I was so proud of Nori. You know, I've been. You know, I'm a big fan of Drink Champs. You know that. So I watch every every interview. Damn it, I was so proud of him, man. Like to be honest, I I, I was I was just proud. I've I've been watching the Joe Button podcast for so yeah. long, but the Drink Champs lately has been like catching my eye more. Right. Like the Wale interview was dope. It was dope. That was another uh, good one. Uh, yeah, that that was a fucking fire. That was a phenomenal interview. Yeah, a, a couple others that I can't really just blurt out right, right now. Right, but yeah, yeah. I've been like watching for, like these last couple of weeks. Like, okay, wait a minute. I Honestly, because Nor- like because Nori is relaxing. Like he always tell, relax, relax, bro. You relax. Nori get too drunk and too high and can't remember the questions. Can't I mean, you know? But he's a hood nigga. I get it, but at some that's point, a New Yorker. But at some point, bro, you gotta relax. <laughs> like that's he it. tell everybody else. That's a that's a hood nigga, bro. He's ruined 
most of their interviews. Agreed. Dave interviews don't be bad. It be him. It's just he drunk. He don't remember shit. He talking crazy. No. I, I, I he did he did a phenomenal well they did a phenomenal they job did. with this one. Yep. I'm I'm excited that there's a part two coming because it ended all weird. So I kind of yeah, figured something was coming. That shit just ended abruptly and weird. Yeah. But um, I want to get into some of the things that Kanye was talking about. All right, talk to me. Um, his brain is top tier, mm-hmm. and he does go off on rambles and he does like just he talks in parables and in circles. But if you can follow it. He always hits home. It comes back. It like it always comes back. And then what what I like that he does is he he dictates the pace of everything. Mm-hmm. Cause he be like, all right, cool. I know you want to move on to something else, but let me just finish that thought so you can get it. Right. And I love that shit. Cause it'll and, fuck him up if he don't get it out. Yeah, I, I can see he's definitely OCD in that way. Like he yeah. needs to get it out. But one thing, one thing that hit home with me the whole time, and it, it was it was like off, and nobody's even talking about it, but. I think I mentioned it to you when they was talking about um, homelessness. And then he was like, yeah, but we used to have water fountains. And now we have a plastic problem because of water bottles. <laughs> Yo, yeah. And that's capitalism. And he was, it like, was like, capitalism oh. is the reason why we have homelessness. But right. I'm trying to fix homelessness and y'all talking about dollars. And, mm-hmm. and he, that Yo, that whole shit was so profound. And I can see the way he thinks. Right. And it's, it's little things like that that make me fuck with somebody because he's even absolutely when, correct. This is weird. This is weird. A little weirder than that one. Um, but even when he said, "I don't want to live anywhere," he mm. said, "I want to. I want to be able to go where I need to go, and that we don't need money. It's just an exchange of no, no, no. But, but, but more importantly, more importantly, he said, wealth is your network, right? Right. So, so he's like, I want to be able to go anywhere in the world and have a connection there that I can just stay somewhere for free." Right, and that's my home for a week. Right, right. And, then, and he was like, "Yo, I'm living out of a bag right now. My bag is my my house." Right. He said, "My home is when my daughter calls me on Facetime." Right. Which is fire, fire, bro. Just like that, the mindset is is a. At the same time, that mindset is a rich mindset, and we all can we we all can't have that mindset because you do need dollars to be. You can't be in Mulan. Is that a place? Milan? Yeah, yeah Milan. You, you can't be in Milan and be <laughs> yeah. like, oh, let me just stay with blah, blah, blah. One, you need money to get to Milan. I'm let just laughing like, because you thought about Milan like M-U, like the movie. Yeah, but it's yeah. Milan, like M-I-L. Milan, yeah, That's hilarious. Yeah. Listen. <laughs> you, thought it, you thought it a damn red, fighter girl. Red cup poppy, all right? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. But nah, like it, it, what he's talking about is rich people shit because we can't just... The average person can't just hop on a jet and fly somewhere and then not worry about where they're staying. But I do understand the concept of what he's talking about. Yeah, it's it's conceptual because it's really like we all can can if we we all can't. We can aspire. Bro, you cannot leave right now, hop on a jet and go to London and then worry about it when you get there. You can't do that right now. You can't. He can. But the reason why that's such an incredible idea is because at some point he couldn't either. And now he can. I mean, yeah, man, man, so, manifestation. You're right. So you understand? So so it's kind of like you can do it too. It's not you can do it today. It's, it's it. you I, can do it too. I agree. It's like I, I couldn't do it either. Now I can, you know. So I love I agree that. With that. I love that idea. I love the idea that no matter what this man touches, achieves. He always takes it to a step higher, and then he masters the craft of it. I think that's mm-hmm. amazing. He's mastered sound. He's mastered art. He's mastered fashion, like mastered fashion. Yo. I, the, <laughs> How do you step into fashion and master it? I like, I, I don't know. I'm different from other people, right? Maybe because from how I was raised, the way I was raised. But I love when people name drop. Some yeah. people hate name droppers. I love a name drop because right. that shows me your bag. That nigga said the CEO of Balenciaga. Right. He was like, I, I ate with the owner of Google. I yeah. was doing it like I love shit like that. Just because big now, be, no, because what happens is you make these people regular people. Right. We we put people on pedestals so high. Oh my God, the Michael Jordans, the Michael Jacksons. Right. No, he's like, yo, I I, I was at Chick Fil A with this nigga. 
what was he saying? He said he was sitting, I think it was the Balenciaga dude, and he was like, so I'm sitting next to Oprah and, H- and Hillary Clinton. Yeah. <laughs> and he was, he was like, like, y'all gonna say I'm talking shit? He was like, but fuck it, I was with but, Oprah and Hillary Clinton. Like that, That's his life. <laughs> and I like, bro, I love shit like that. Yeah. Make these people regular people. They are all right. Re- every, we're all regular people. No, 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 I hear you, but if you talk to the average individual, if, if you mention Jeff Bezos, right. they're, they're gonna say, the almost trillionaire, but Jeff Bezos, the owner of blah, right, blah, blah. Right, right, Kanye right. would be like, yo, I was with this nigga Jeffrey. You feel me? Like, we was talking about the game. Yeah, yeah. I right, like right. shit like that because it's like, you're not on no pedestal, bro. You're just a regular nigga. You just happen to have a lot of money. That's it. I love it. Love it. Like when he said, um, I like shit like that. Nas is my favorite rapper, but he was like, that nigga can't hoop at all. <laughs> like, and then Nori just, was like, yo, he can't ball. <laughs> <laughs> I just love stuff. I love, like you say, when you, you exalt people, you make them regular, bro. Yeah. Like these niggas is regular people. Yes, yeah. you you're a superior rapper. You can't hoop for shit. What's That's up? That's hilarious. Like, That's hilarious, by the way. Um, I say the same thing about Dame. Dame is a great producer slash artist slash singer slash rapper. He ain't the best ball player. He's solid, but he ain't great. I mean, it's, it's, I'm solid. I'm happy with solid. <laughs> I'm not trash. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, you're not I, trash. You're not trash. You're I don't want to be you're trash. trash. Yeah. I know the basics. <laughs> Yo, for, for everybody watching us, we went to Brooklyn Bridge Park one day, right? <laughs> we was I, I never saw Dane play under the lights. I'm like, I I don't know. And that nigga hooped. I was I was surprised. I was shocked. I was like, wait a minute, Dame Dame's actually athletic. Let me find out. Yeah, no, I'm a, I, I never was great at basketball. And then what happened is I tried to come back to it. We got to get back to the Kanye, but I'll just give you this. And so when I came back to basketball, I came back as an older fat guy. So Mm -hmm. what happened was my boy was like, nah, you trying to shoot and do all that shit you used to do when you was young. That's that's not what you do, fam. Stay in your lane. You know what I'm saying? You're the older fat dude in the pickup games now. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's who you are. (laughs) And and it was was hard, Richard. You know, I was like, what? But I used to be a shooter. He was like, like, I'm nice. (laughs) Yeah. He was like, that was in grammar school whenever (laughs) you Mm -hmm. (laughs) played. And he was like, and I just took his took his word for it. My boy just cause I took his word for it. He was like, all right, so let me teach you how to play like the big dude. Mm-hmm. And literally, we would go out day after day. And he was like, you stand here, you do this, you cut. <laughs> you, know what I'm you go here, you block, you cut, you run, you pass. And I was like, oh. So then when we used to play pickup games, mm-hmm. it was like, got it. So boom, Bro, cut past they, him. They, they they set cut. a screen, Nigga, boom, set the screen, roll to the basket. That's what I got. Lay up. It's like, okay. That's what he told me. Like, and I and I, I learned more from just playing with him. And then so now when I got into games, it's like I knew my role. It's like I set the screen. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga get the rebound, outlet, boom, hold on. <laughs> like, don't ask me to shoot shit. <laughs> shoot shit. I'm just I'm nah, just there for this. That's hilarious. <laughs> anyway, my bad. But that's hilarious. Um, but no, no. Um, what else, man? What else was Kanye saying that was cool, man? He said it was it was so much. It good and bad, man. Um I like I said, I, I just I I respect his his train of thought. Mm-hmm. I respect the fact that he's He's just unapologetically him, and it's like if you if you're on his wavelength, then cool. If not, then cool. And I think that what happens is he always gets cut off and blurbs, and like it's almost like how we saw the whole interview. You're like, I love this guy. Mm-hmm. Then the next day, you saw the headlines. Yeah, and then it's like that's not what you know. Kanye West goes in on Sean on on, uh, on Big Sean. It's like. Yo, I- Honestly, can we talk about that? What's up? How do you feel about... Okay, so I want to make this a topic and, and kind of like fuck Kanye right now. Okay. But let's, let's actually talk about it, right? Talk to so him. what he, what they... I guess it was it was between Big Sean and somebody else. I forget who's the person that they was like... Um, He had to pick... Uh, John Legend. There you go. Boom. Big, big, was it John Legend? What was it? You, you didn't finish. You said it's between Big Sean on what? Remember, they, they, um, Big Sean came up because they were, they were they were playing the game, and it was um somebody else versus Big Sean, and he picked the other person over Big Sean. Then he's like, "Well, let me tell you tell you about Sean." Whatever the case may be, whatever. Yeah, yeah. I'm about to. Say, I don't. I don't remember who the person was with Big Sean. Cool. So it was somebody in Big Sean. Right. He, um. He was like Big Sean was the the worst mistake he ever made. He shouldn't assign Big Sean. Right. And then he goes in to talk about um how. Very recently, 
when he was talking about the MAGA hats and all that shit, right. he's like, they pretty much turned their back on him. They right? did. I remember what John Legend said. I'm not yes, gonna front. Right. Like John Legend was for real. Like I so denounced then, everything Kanye yeah. is about. It so was like relax. Ye, Ye goes to say, "Yo, but like Sean, like I know your mom for real." He's like, "I I brought you out of pro- poverty, pretty much, and I I gave you this amazing life, right? And I gave you a shot that nobody gave you, right? And you could do this to me publicly, so now it's fuck you." Mm. How do you feel about that? Ooh, that's such a tough one. Because because oh. I I feel, I feel a way about that slightly. Um. My bad. I'm sorry. I took a break because I, bro, because because I've also been known to do some shit that's wild. You know what I'm saying? Like I have, just in general. You know me. Shit, I've been drunk and did some crazy shit before, and then in my, well, it's just not crazy. I ain't crazy, crazy, but you know what I'm saying. I've done some shit, mm-hmm. and in my own life, my friends have never publicly denounced me. They made a pull me to the side. Mm-hmm. Or told me, you know what, you, you need to relax, you need to chill. Like, what the mm-hmm. fuck? <laughs> they, mm-hmm. but um, never publicly, never publicly. Like, I ain't never seen a person go on Facebook of uh, your day was drunk and wilding and tripping and like, nigga, don't mm-hmm. tell my ma- nigga what you like between us. You know what I'm saying? I will never be. Who the fuck? <laughs> now I want to beat your ass. <laughs> like, what you talking I, about? I, 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 I want to say where my problem comes in at. Go ahead, go ahead with yours because that, but. I kind of understand why it's valid. I don't like that he made it about the music because I feel like that's unfair. But I, I do I'm, understand I'm, the loyalty aspect of it. I'm gonna say this: I was not mad at what Kanye said because mm-hmm. once again, you said you hit the nail on the head. It comes to loyalty, right? right. He was speaking on loyalty the whole time, right? Of course, Black Twitter, the, the, the fucking masses, we're gonna take it and say, "Oh, Kanye's biggest mistake was signing John." That right. that was the headline, right? What I took from it was, he's like, yo, bro, if, if you my man's for real, right? If you you my man's for real. Even if you disagree with what I'm doing, let's talk about that off, like like you said, off camera. We right. can figure that out because you my man's for real. It's not like I got to get your contact number from somebody else. Like, we really talk for real. We really did that. Where right. I disagree with Kanye, and this has been me my whole life, I don't mm. like when people hold shit over other people. Right? Mm. So... Okay the shit went left for me he's like oh I, I know your mom i took you out of poverty like i signed you blah blah blah. don't do something and then hold it over my head right. so that now if i disagree with you now you're holding it over my head it's like i, I don't like that that kind of rubbed me the wrong way because that's kind of fucked up i agree yeah that's narcissism that, that's yeah, narcissism. It, it's, it's like yeah. it's like it, I, i'd rather you not give me the opportunity then yeah Let me fuck you. Let me I'll, I'll build my own opportunity yeah. Let me figure this out on my own. Don't That's give it. me shit if you're yeah. going to hold it over my head. Right? And I kind of feel that way. Like, I, I wish that he would have worded that a little bit better. But at the same time, this is Kanye we're talking about. He don't word nothing better. Right. But I, I do feel. And Big Sean was, was upset. That, that nigga was all on Twitter. Like, all right, so when, when am I going on Drink Champs? Because what, <laughs> what was funny is about? Big Sean's first tweet was like, I was just with him two days ago. <laughs> and that's another thing. So it's like, bro, I was just with you. And it was us all love. Right. Now, yeah. I don't like that. Um, we all know Kanye Petty. You know what I'm saying? Like, we do know that. Like, Kanye. I just, I just, I just, I just feel like not even. I feel. I'm not I excusing know. it. I'm just saying. No, I'm, I'm just saying. Like, I, I know that these niggas is not friends for real. It's really business, right? Yeah, I don't think and, he really likes Big Sean for real. I mean, I don't bro, feel- it's, it's, it's business. Big Sean came to this nigga at the radio station in Chicago or Detroit, yeah. wherever they was at. Wherever they was at. And, and he presented himself. He was the best rapper at the time. Kanye's like, yo, I can make some money off this nigga. We, let's, let's be honest. I can make some money off this nigga and with this nigga. Let's make this happen. And that's what happened. But they're not friends for real. I don't think so. And but what, I, what I hate about that, and that's something I just don't like. Um, <clears throat> this part hurts. Like, it hurts to say this because... What's the Drake line when he said when your idols become your rivals? You know, and it's yeah. like I we all look up to Kanye, we look up to Jay-Z, we look up to these people. Mm-hmm. So if you get an opportunity to work with them, just work with them to be in their presence and then, jump at it. And then you 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 get you get to do good music with them, you know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. then you get to make hits and make money and change your life. You do assume in some ways that this is some sort of a friendship. Like you 
I, I think that's the immature part of us. Oh, man. Like, I, I, I honestly do. You know, it's funny. I, I don't want to sound like the narcissist. Nope. I, I don't want to sound like the Wait, pessimist. Wait, real quick, real quick. Real mm -hmm. quick before you get that answer, because I just want to say this part, too. Because mm -hmm. that's the same thing that Jay-Z did to Kanye. You think right? so? I don't I think, think so. Came, well, no, no. I think when it came down to what, whatever it was, obviously, we don't know what their beef was. Mm -hmm. But when it came down to their beef, at the end of the day, Jay Z was like, "Well, listen, you you've been a producer, bro. Like, I, I you know, I rocks with you, but you know, like, I'm gonna keep you here, and I'm, you know, and that's what made I, I, Kanye I so upset. But I I'm disagree. just saying that's what made, but but that's what made Kanye so upset. That's why this nigga is ranting. You didn't come to my thing, bro. You were supposed to be here, bro. You you know, you know what I'm saying? Now you sound like how mm -hmm. Big Sean to sound, or you sound like how." Uh, you know how, how uh, you know how people. Okay, matter of fact, you know what? You I, I, what I, I, I take. I, I, I agree. I agree. Because he, he went on a crying fest for years. He's like, "Oh, you didn't come to my wedding, or yeah. or when when Kim got robbed in Paris, you wasn't there for me." Yeah, which which, which is some friendship shit. Hove is like, "We not friends." Nah, I get it. I get it. You know what I'm saying? But, but that's why you and don't. That's why do that it. shit is tough. But it's it's the music business for a reason. These niggas are not friends. They see a movement that they can attach themselves to. And with my celebrity, we can make millions. So let's make these millions. And that's that. If we develop something later, then cool. But they're not friends for real. Because let's just say we fast forward and me and you be in the industry and some shit happens. You my friend for real. You feel yeah, what I'm saying? Like, yeah. yeah. I'll, listen, we, we, we can fight. What's up? Niggas get beat up over Dame. It's, it's different. Yeah, I think because so. Because we actually friends for real. Like, um, just uh, just I don't want to keep changing because you know we start jumping around. But even with Jay Z, you could tell that Myth Bleak is his friend. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For real, <laughs> for real, like, that's his friend. Like we know that. Myth no, but Bleak he, but he, he said it on record. He's like, "Yo, Myth is gonna eat till he's seventy thousand. Right. Like he's gonna right. eat forever. Right. Tata's gonna eat forever. Emery's right. gonna eat forever. Why? Because right. they're friends for real. Those are my actual friends. Yeah." And it's not just people I made money with or did business with. Friends for real. So I do get it. But, man, that's a tough one, though. Because if I was Big Sean, I'd feel a way, too, dog. I, like, I, I would absolutely feel the way. One, I one thing I hate way. One thing I hate about me personally, not I hate about me. One thing I hate personally myself is when people <laughs> hold things over your head. Got you. I, I don't like that shit. I don't like that at all. As a matter of fact, he did Soldier Boy wrong, too. I don't, but did he? He said Wait, the first was whack. That's hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We all know the Soldier Boy can't rap. I am, I am about to gas Soldier Boy like he dope. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, Soldier Boy when he was doing all his extra shit because he's just an extra ass nigga. Mm -hmm. He was like, if you didn't like it, why didn't you just say that? He facts. He and when he, he was showing, and, and I, even though he it wasn't the text message, clear, he was like, if y'all can't see this shit, he was like, it's saying the verse is cool, like. Nah, I, I, if the shit whack, bro, just fucking let me know. But once again, that's that's that industry shit, bro. That's that industry shit. Bro, that's sheesh. Matter of fact, I go a step further. In my personal life, I've sent tracks out to people trying mm -hmm. to collab, and they'll send me back their shit. And my first response, yo, that shit is hard, bro. Good looking on that. Yo, you killed that. That shit is boo-boo. And maybe we all do it subconsciously or subconsciously, and, and, and we need to stop doing it. We do, especially on but that. I've level. done that before. Dame, you've done that before. Somebody have sent you a beat before, and you was like, Yeah, good looking. That shit was fire. And you never used it. Hell no. Exactly. <laughs> I, I feel like on a smaller scale, we all right. do it. But on a right. larger scale, now you get to the Kanye and uh uh what's his Soulja name? Soldier Boy. Mm -hmm. I personally feel like I know Soldier Boy sent some boo boo shit. I know he did. Yeah, I, I have no faith I, in the Soldier Boy. I, I have no faith no that faith. he sent a, a world class, but even top notch verse. But even Chris Brown, remember, was upset too. Like, you telling me Chris Breezy didn't make the roster, bro? No, no, so, so, can I be honest there? Can I be honest? Chris Brown lately has not been putting out the best music ever. Let's, let's be honest there. Mm. This might be a hot take. I might get crucified for this in the comments. Fuck it. It's not like the nigga putting out the best music ever. So if, if remember, this is Kanye's album to his mom. People right. need to understand that. So my emotional attachment to this record is already all time high. Mm -hmm. 
And this is the world's most emotional ass nigga. Exactly. <laughs> I'm I'm already emotionally unstable. I'm already the, the most emotional nigga on earth. George Bush hates black people. I'm that guy. <laughs> I jumped on the VMA stage and grabbed the microphone from fucking Taylor, Taylor Swift. Swift. Yes. I did that, right? So now this is named after my mom. Mm. I want the best of the best. I'm sorry. Now, if your shit didn't make the cut, but I sent it to you, it's okay. But what he should have did was say, you know what? I like it. It's just not going to make the cut. I apologize. Just so everybody could be like, all right, cool. It is what it is. I, that, that, that's how I can see it happening. But then again, we're dealing with people with egos and people who feel like they're the shit. You can't tell Chris Brown he's not the shit. You can't. You can't tell Soldier Boy he's not the shit. So if they, you, you can, but they're not going to listen to you. Like, if, you can't tell them that they're not the shit. So ultimately, it's, it's ego. That's what it comes down to. It's ego. But man, fuck, fuck Soldier Boy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Fuck so much, your boy. He know his shit was whack. Nah, fuck that. Sure, bro. Like I have no faith in like if the, if the if the if the if the random soldier boy verse come out and we like yo, this is what I have no faith in that. No, but no, more, more importantly, more importantly, I have no faith we, in soldier boy verse. Dame, be a dope, bro. Dame, you and I, me and you, the yeah. us, the pair, yeah. the two of us, we went to see the very first album listening party in Atlanta. Yeah. We didn't hear no Soldier Boy shit, so he didn't make that cut. Like, fuck out of here, bro. Like, come on, son. You didn't make the first cut. That ain't he the real had, cut. Bro, he had four alterations. Yeah. We heard the first cut. Yeah. You didn't make Which that Which I didn't one. like. I did not like that. I like the experience more than I like the... No, no, no. The, the experience was fire. The experience was fire. Yeah, that, that shit was top-notch, yeah. next level, next world type yeah, shit. Yeah, that was dope. But, yeah, but anyway, no. Nah, um, he, bro, he didn't make that cut. So you mad about the last cut? Get the fuck out of here, bro. Your version <laughs> was weak, my nigga. Soldier Boy, get better. Get out the way. <laughs> <laughs> Soldier coming through. Soldier coming through. <laughs> 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 why why would that be i guess bro nah i ain't gonna okay so we we can't disrespect soldier though okay big soldier held it down no no listen that means i can't live it my sophomore year of high school to junior year of college was soldier boy that man is a high he's an he icon living now nah, i can admit he's getting his, his flowers he is he's getting his yeah, flowers yeah, yeah as yeah. an artist he's he's just a terrible rapper like well, we're, we're, we're but Okay, I can't say he's a terrible rapper. Bro, bro just bite you. Don't say nothing. Because if he ain't a terrible rapper, my nigga, who is? Stop I mean, it. Okay, 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 okay. I, 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 I say that. I'll say this. I'll say this. He can't rap for shit. You're right. Thank you. What but, the fuck? But, but he can write a hit record. Sure. That's okay. Yes, he can. He can okay. do that. Nobody okay. arguing with that. He's, he's he's not a top notch rapper. You're right. Oh no, but he ain't yeah. bottom notch. Like my nigga's not. Oh, he <laughs> look. He don't make the cut. He don't make the cut. <laughs> he does not make the album. <laughs> what are you talking he's, about? He's not a bottom notch. He's the, he doesn't make the album. <laughs> Which is no. You're no. You're right. You're right. That's what you're I'm saying. Right. Yeah. Right. You right now would get a Soldier Boy feature and be like. I'm gonna cut it. No, I'm gonna cut I, it. I, I, absolutely. 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 <laughs> no. I get it. I would do the Soldier Boy verse because it's Soldier Boy at this point. Boy, but... pretty boy swag. Hey, pretty yeah. His swag. hook game is cool though. The hook game is lit. He, he, no, no, he, he can write some hooks, bro. He, he can, can write, write a record. Yeah, he's not but... the he's not the rapidy rapidy rap. No, rap, he ain't rap. no rap nothing. He's not. He's trash. He's he's Damn. complete trash. You better stop for a big Draco pop up in our comment section, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you better who's, stop. Who's worse than Soldier Boy? Silk the Shaka? Watch your mouth. Silk the Shaka is nice, nigga. I like Silk He's the probably Shaka. a really nice guy. I mean, no, fuck you, bro. He's probably Silk a really the Shaka nice was fire back no, in the wasn't. day. He was nigga. never fire ever. What? He, he couldn't even rap. He couldn't get his ad libs on. All right. I don't even. Okay. I don't who was worse than Soldier Boy who, as rapping? Who's worse? Damn. I can't. My brain don't even go that bad. Like, I don't even. Yeah, yeah, yeah. OJ the Juice Man? I don't know. Like, <laughs> I, don't I can't. Know. No, Nick Cannon got bars. Wait. We just don't like Nick Cannon. It's, no, as a rap. No, 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 no. Nick Cannon doesn't have bars. Nick Cannon made some pretty catchy songs, though. No, no, but Nick no Cannon can there. rap. Dar, he's been professionally freestyle rapping for years. Nick Cannon will outbar most cats if you just want to go off. Like, what are we doing? Like, the boys I mean, okay. Rap. So, Nick Cannon and Big Tick is in the same category. 
they've been with that though. You they've know, been you know, hosting, I, a, show, they've been hosting a, show, a show so long that they they've learned the freestyle. But no, no. But I am one of listen. I'm a big. I'm a fan of Big Tigger as a rapper though. I, you know, if Fam want to put out an album, it would not be trash. It'd be very okay. It, no, it would be trash. <laughs> stop, stop it. If Big, if Tigger put out an album, it would be trash. It would not be trash unless unless he gets the features from everybody who came to Rhapsody in the basement, and right. then it'll be fire. The album will be fire. I would have loved, and that's what they missed out. If, imagine if back in the two thousands, Big Tigger would have put out a mixtape. No, he 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 should have had a mixtape series. Yes, with everybody who touched the booth. We should be on Big Tigger mixtape six. No, no, bro, Rap City in the basement. That's yeah. that volume yeah. one, Completely, volume two, Completely volume three. That. Yeah, oh, oh yeah, he missed the whole bag. Yes, missed the whole bag. Yes, because fucking you got DJ drama going on. You got fucking mm -hmm. you got all these DJs running the game with mixtapes. Yeah. One percent. Big Tigger, he had all the artists come to him. He should have definitely had a mixtape. You're right. You saw they brought it back. Have you seen it? Oh, no, that shit, that shit was beautiful. Yeah. I saw that. Uh, it was the BT Awards right mm -hmm. before it. That shit was perfect. They brought it back. Yeah. It was perfect. Is it on air? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's back on B. I don't know if it's, I want to say it's BT. I don't know where it's at, but yeah. No, I, I haven't seen it personally. Um, I haven't seen it, but, but they did. They definitely brought it back. Listen, Rap City in the Basement hit home for me. It did. It was everything. Like that, for me. that was everything, bro. It was everything. And 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 I really liked that Big Ticket was freestyling. I, that's why I say I don't care what y'all say. No, 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 but yeah, yes, he he did freestyle, but every episode, everything was recycled. So let's be honest. Well, I mean, it was simple freestyle, but that's it's how you learn how to freestyle. Rap city big ticket in the basement. Like he he said the same shit every yeah, week. Yeah, but he still <laughs> found a way to rhyme something new. And people was coming there with written rhymes. Say what you want to say after you I spit your written. But that's but that's free. That's that's freestyle. Period. It's all written. Name one person that's gone to the radio station and came completely off the top every single time. You can't. It was only one. Well, two. And you could tell when it was whack and good. There was only one and two. Lupe, Lupe Fiasco will completely do it. That nigga has a written though. I, I know um, I, I know what you're talking about because with Lupe they'll start like throwing out random words and he'll but, but the words. other person who never wrote rhymes ever was the white boy Asher Roth. Do you remember Asher Roth? I do remember Asher Roth. Asher Roth, that was like his thing. He was like, I don't write, period. And sometimes you like, okay. The other times you like, see, you should write. <laughs> you, know what I'm like, eh, you should write a little bit, bro. We we sat through five minutes of you stumbling. Like, oh, you picked it back up again. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I, I, mm -mm. I, I don't know. But anyway, me personally, I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, I mean, I yo, can we, yo, can 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 we can we move can we move this shit? And My bad. You know, we start talking about music. Yeah, we get to music and, and and we get lost. Yo, we got to talk about this Travis Scott, this Astro World shit. Yes, what the hell we, we happened, gotta, bro? We gotta fucking talk about it, my nigga. What happened? So. Astro World is, is is an event that's been happening for the last couple of years. This is Travis Scott's staple performance. That's his thing. This is his thing. It's in yeah. Houston, um, pretty much. I, I I believe I could be wrong. Wade, fact check me. I believe Astro World used to be a, an amusement park that got closed down in Houston. He bought the amusement park, oh, and wow. now in the amusement park, he throws that festival. Let me know if oh, I'm wrong or not. Shit. That is an that's an incredible idea. No, no it's it's, a, it's an amazing start point. So, uh, but I feel like I'm correct. I, I could be wrong. I don't be knowing everything, but I feel like that's what Astro World is. Okay, I'll look it up as we talk. Cool. So Astro World is uh, at the amusement park or whatever, and it holds a massive crowd. Yeah, it's an amusement park. That's yeah. That's, so if that's true. Pretty much, um, Travis Scott coming from Houston, he is arguably the biggest artist out of Houston. <laughs> in the near future, I would say. I didn't know he was from Houston. Nah, it would be him and Meg Thee Stallion. Ex yeah, and he's surpassing Meg by, yeah, by yeah, far. Yeah, too. yeah, 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 by far. So, um, year by year, he's been having these big Astro festivals. Mm -hmm. Um, the crowds have been rowdy. They've been massive. Um, he's had incidents there before, mm. but this year is different, right? Mm -hmm. Um. Eight people died, 300 people injured, sent to the hospital, 50,000 plus in attendance. Mm. The whole world is now saying, fuck you, Travis Scott. Why do you because marry him? Of, because of what happened, right? So there's so many videos coming out of 
of concert goers and innocent bystanders running up close to the stage, like mm-hmm. running up behind the sound. People they are like, yo, people are dying out there. Right. What yeah. happened was the, the barricades fell in. People pushed the barricades over and now they're rushing the crowd. Mm-hmm. Everything is general admission. Right. There's, there's a slight portion that is VIP access, but everything is general admission. Mm-hmm. So in general admission, you have to jockey for your, your, your position. Right. We all paid the same amount of dollars. If I get in front of you, my seat is better than yours. Right. Mm. So now niggas is rushing the crowd, rushing the stage to get to the front. We all paid the same. It don't matter. And if, 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 if it's an arena, there's seats. Bro, remember, we went to see the Kanye shit. We was in the wrong seats. You remember that? Oh, yeah. And they finally made us get up. <laughs> yeah, they, they after made, we they, made friends. Listen, they made us get the fuck up. We but in the wrong seat. Get up. Remember that? Mind, cool. mind you, mind you, we like at the 50-yard line. We in the front of the crew. It's right. amazing. We right. there. We made cool. They was cool people. Yeah. Shout, shout out to y'all. Who shout out to y'all. Love y'all line, man. Yeah, no, no. We made a family real quick. We, we did. did. We made a family. Everybody was having fun together. Then we had to leave. and then... But that's what happens when you have seats. Right. General admission, everybody paid 350 and now it's whoever's the strongest nigga gets to the front. <laughs> so people getting beat up, people passing out, people getting trampled. And now you have eight people dead, mm. 300 hospitalized. One of the hospitalizations, I'm sorry, is I believe like a, a, a 10 year old that's in a coma. Wow, and he's in a being coma. There in general, just... no, he's he's in a coma because he was on his dad's shoulders. The oh, dad got oh, put oh. to sleep, then he got trampled over. Oh God, yeah, that's not cool. And that's what's happening right now. That's not cool at all. That's still not Travis Scott's fault, but that's not cool. So, so now, now the whole world is cussing Travis Scott out for saying one, how could you not fucking know what was going on? Two. Where was security? Where was your people's? Where was this? Where was that? Three, why would you continue? And so forth and so on. I would like to have a conv- a candid conversation with you about how you feel about it. Well, I know for a fact that when you're performing, especially in a big crowd, you can't see what's going on in the crowd. Bro, a, a, a little crowd you can't see. I've stood on stage with a light just like this in front of my mm-hmm. face, and I can't see anybody there. That's it. All I can see, you know, when you say you put the flashlights up and everybody got their flashlight, all you can see is lights looking back at you. Yeah, but, you don't but, know if it's a fight going on or somebody's being trampled. or. Yeah. And then if you're on stage with monitors and in-ear monitors and all you're doing is performing to what you perform, performing. You can't hear either. You don't know what's going on. They could be screaming, but you don't know what they're screaming. Like you're not. If you're in a crowd, you saw where we was at when we was at the theater. If yeah. so, when when everybody screamed, ah, you don't know if somebody said, ah, I got raped. <laughs> you, you just hear. No, I mean, true. You just hear ah, crowd noise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They um, yeah. No, okay, I, so so so, do you think Travis Scott has any part of the blame right now? If the only part of the blame would be security and the re, you know the, the 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 people who set up. But is shit. that Travis Scott? No, not at all. Okay, so you I think mean, maybe Travis if Scott he hired the security and it was a bum ass security, you know what I'm saying? Like I I, I I'm gonna say this and and you know what's funny? I'm I'm list bro today. I'm listening to Hot 97 on my mm-hmm. way to work. Yeah. Right. And they had Ed Sharon on. Right. And they're like, yo, Ed, how do you feel about this whole Travis Scott thing? Blah, blah, blah. He was like, yo, it's so new and it's so fresh. I'm not going to give you an answer because I don't want to be the first person that gives an opinion on it. Mm. Like, that's how n- people are so afraid to talk about it. It's crazy. So let's fucking talk about it. Right. Let's let's do that. Hey, let's man, do that. I'm down. Me personally. Yeah. Um, I feel like the Houston Police Department should be held fucking accountable. Right. Right. Um. If I'm the artist and I'm coming into any situation, even if it's the Jay Willard extravaganza, my name could be all over this shit. By the way, that was corny. I would never have a Jay Willard extravaganza. That pretty was bad. terrible. I wouldn't go there. I wouldn't go to that. I event. would not go there. I would be a no-show. <laughs> <laughs> but if it was whatever the case may be, right? Um, 
You should have just said Willow World. You you bugging? Cool, Crazy. whatever. Like I said, bro, I'm I'm freestyling right now. I'm freestyling <laughs> as bad as Big Tigger. Uh, <laughs> oh, don't do that. <laughs> I mean, nah, but <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Nah, but listen, if my name is on this thing, I don't hire each security member. I don't hire EMTs. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't hire whatever emergency. I don't hire the fire department. I don't hire the police department. I don't hire those people, right? So yeah. I am the talent. That's it. I'm supposed I to show it, up and perform, bro. bro I get leave. paid to show up, perform, bring my energy that I normally bring. That's it. Now, what I have control over is the energy that I'm bringing. Right? So now, I've seen Travis Scott con- um, co- um, fucking concerts. Mm-hmm. He has the, the super mega big mosh pits. Bro, we're talking about like early rock concerts that's mm-hmm. how travis scott shits look bro yeah they they beating each other up they they doing the whole mosh pit scene this fire being thrown like they do that right so if that's the energy that i'm bringing i have some kind of culpability i know what's going on you know you can't you can't make that face i do have because i'm bringing that energy i know that i'm bringing that energy where i draw the line is I am not security. I'm not police. Right. I'm not. If there's 50,000 people there, sure, I'm getting paid to perform. I'm not there to protect 50,000 people. Yeah, that's not your I'm job. the artist. I'm the that's talent. Job. That's not my job. I'm there to deliver on my right. my part, which is to deliver your art, to rap my songs. I'm there to produce. I mean, to, to, to produce a good show. That's right. what I'm there for. So. We now get to the part where eight people are dead, 300 people are in the hospital. It's a shit show. Everybody's suing everybody. I feel like everybody is passing the blame on Travis Scott, and that shouldn't be. Well, he's an easy target. He's the biggest. Uh, Drake was there. Why ain't nobody blaming Drake? We don't ever blame Drake for nothing. Drake is in a lawsuit. Okay, good. And, and so is Roddy Rich. Uh uh-huh. They're trying to sue like everybody. they're suing these niggas, bro. They're suing them. Like, yo, because of you, eight people died. And now it goes further. They're on some. If I didn't die, or if I didn't know somebody who died, <laughs> if I didn't die, no, 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 no real shit. Oh, this is real. It, it sounds crazy, but hear me okay. out. Okay. I didn't die. Right. I don't know somebody who died, mm-hmm. but I was there, and I'm traumatized. <laughs> oh, so I'm trauma suing. suit. So I'm suing. Bro, the class action lawsuit right now is stupid. So what I want to... I keep asking questions, but... Talk to me. uh, Roddy Rich gave up his proceeds for the night. Travis Scott uh, said he's going to refund all 50,000 tickets. Everybody's getting their money back. What else can they do to right this wrong? And are they wrong? Is my like? I have so many questions here, and I feel so passionate about it because... Bro, we we do I mean, it's what we do. Bro, we do we do Willow Wednesday we do though, right? Shows, we do music, we do pocket. We so, we so can have say, an event. Let's say we have an event and somebody gets beat up at an event. Sure. Are we held liable now because somebody got fucked up at an event? I mean, and a, a, a better a better question, a better question. From our vantage point, can you see somebody being fucked up? And if you saw it, would you stop it? I would. Yeah. Of course I would. If I knew something was going down. But to be honest, when you're performing, you're not even thinking like it would have to be. Um, I'll give this as the example. Did you see what happened with Cat Williams show? Real quick. No. All right, so, so Cat no. Williams had a show and I guess a, a person fell out or got sick or something. Mm-hmm. And legit, he stopped the show. Um, and was like, no, let's get the paramedics in, you know, because it's a serious situation. Yeah, absolutely. But it's a smaller, intimate event. You know, if it's you 100 can people that. and somebody now, call now, the fuck now, out. I, I, I will say, I just saw a video earlier today, maybe like four or five hours ago. Mm-hmm. Um, Travis Scott is standing at the top of the stage. Somebody passed clip. out. Yeah, somebody passed out in front of him. He was like, yo, can we get him some help? He did stop the show. But also, he didn't know what was happening. Like, like okay. No, 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 no. We're, we're, I, I don't know if we're on the same page right now. I'm saying okay. he saw somebody visibly passed out and stopped his show and was like, yo, can we get them some help? 
I, I, I saw that. That I saw. Yeah. So what? So, but what every, I mean, every, every, I, every, what, what I mean, by, what I mean by what I'm saying when I say he doesn't know what's happening is what I'm saying. That's a one-off. Yeah. You know, that's a I'm performing, I'm performing, I'm performing. Yo, somebody passes out, and you or, see some shit. You see I it. Saw it. Got you. Yeah. Now, if I'm performing, I'm performing, I'm performing. I don't know what's a mile in the distance. Yeah, this thing is getting ran over and chopped up or whatever the hell it was happening. Yeah, I can't see that. I don't know. I can't be responsible for that. No, bro, I, I agree. That's not in my vantage point. But obviously, I think any human person, for the most part, if you got some kind of sense, if you see something going down. Oh, but the reason I brought the Cat Williams shit is because he made that joke. He was like, nah, get the paramedics in here because I ain't trying to be on no Astro. You know, I ain't, I ain't on no Travis Scott shit. And it was like, no, it's going to be a joke going forward. And, and he said honestly, that joke. Um, there was another artist. It was, a, it was a female artist. Who the fuck was it? She, uh, Tiana Taylor. Okay. Tiana Taylor had a concert either last night or the night before. Right. And she stopped the whole shit. And she was like, no, 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 no. Check on her, please. Is she good? So now going forward, what's what what is going to happen in concert? Right, so, okay, wait, 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 wait. You know, wait, you wait, know where I'm going. Wait, 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 before you go, before you go, <laughs> before you go, I want to say one thing. And we got to call a spade a spade. People used to pass the fuck out of Michael Jackson concerts all the time. People passed the fuck out of R. Kelly. We got yep. Pearl Jam. We got Chris fucking, Brown. Uh, bro, no, we got the Beatles. We got, you know what it is? I hate to bring the colorism into it, but fuck it, I'm going to do it. Um, Beatles, Pearl Jam, fucking all the rock concerts. People passed the fuck out. People got beat the fuck up. Guns people and got, Roses. All, all this all shit that shit. had mosh pits and people all got physically shits. injured. They, the, the acts, the talent was never held accountable Never for that, but now, and you, bro, you know these venues don't like going to black people anyway because they feel like we're so rowdy and raucous and we're we're, we're the worst of the worst, right? On, so now that a black person has had a bad interaction, eight people dead, three hundred hospitalized, which is tragic. Don't get me; I'm not gonna overlook that. It's terrible. Oh, yeah, no, no, of course, condolences happen. to the family but, and all of that shit. But because that's happened, now it's like black people, black entertainers are gonna take the hit. Big time. We always take the hit. Because there's no way that I'm going to... Bro, I'm not going to give you my venue if I know that somebody might die. <laughs> what? I'm not doing that. We always take the hit because they always use us as the the example. But once again, Pearl Jam is good. Shit, I remember good. watching Kid Cudi perform. A dude hopped on the stage and Kid Cudi knocked the nigga out. Percy, come on, get your ass off the stage. What's what are up? you doing? But like, why are you here? <laughs> like, clock fam, knocked him off the, like, what, what? <laughs> like, what are you doing? So, I, you know, once again, I, I hate this fake ass cancel culture, this fake ass culture where, where people feel that they have no responsibility. What's the word? Culpability? It's like, if you go to a concert and you know that you can get over here. You know what I'm saying? Where's your responsibility? Where's your responsibility? To, to, to speak on what you're speaking on? I hate um, that. To speak on exactly what you're speaking on, they had... Well, there's, there's video evidence, right? People pushed through the barricades, okay. knocked over fences yeah. to gain access. Sure. People who didn't buy tickets, they just showed up, right? So they're like, fuck it. There's three people at the gate. There's 500 of us. They can't stop us. Fuck them. Let's run over them. If this right? was a white where, band, bro, but this would no, have been a good night. But, but, but what I'm saying is where can we have some, some, some criminal lawsuits on the individuals who broke barricades? Because they're trespassing, right? Sure. We're, we're, we're putting this all on Travis Scott. Like, he is the issue. So, like, he incited riots. He said, fuck these people, let them die. He never said any of that. No, no, no. So, okay, so fine. So, fine. Who who was the security? Uh, you know, they always hire some sort of the security. Houston company. Police Department, HPD. That's who it was? Yes. Well, then that's... I, I hate to say it's on them, but it is. It, no, it, bro, it... It, 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 would it, be, it, it would be on the people whose job it is to secure the venue, and you didn't secure it enough. I'm sorry. Bro, if, if 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 I'm playing Madison Square Garden, right? If I'm playing Madison Square Garden and some wild shit happened, NYPD is, is going to be held accountable. 100%. They did the shit. When they're supposed fight, to be there to protect in Madison Square Garden, it always comes down to that. Yes. Oh, you, oh, uh, oh, Dane, you just made a fucking point. You just made a point. 
Come on now. You, you go to a Knicks game. There's a fight in the crowd. Are the Knicks sued? No. No. <laughs> what they got to do with the? <laughs> What, what the they got to do with Derrick Rose? <laughs> Derrick Rose ain't got shit to do with that. He's not to me. But we gonna sue Travis Scott, right? Right. Because security wasn't up to pop. Because I remember when they got a, um, what's the old Nick player who came back and then and started and they started fighting. They started kicking him out of the um. Uh, Charles Oakley. Charles Oakley. Remember when he came and it was this whole debacle Bro, they, about they kicked him out of the garden, which is fine. Well, no, that's not, like, that's not fine. That's not fine. That's wrong. No, no, wait, wait, wait. I'm not saying it's fine. I'm just saying I'm, I, I just mean as far as what we're talking about. Yes, okay. they kicked Charles Oakley out. What I'm saying is that whole debacle was, is it James Dolan or is it the security? Yeah. Or is, yeah. You remember that? Because it was this whole yeah. thing. Like, well, what do you do? And it's like, who's responsible and blah, 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 blah. You can't blame, at the end of the day, the talent. They show up to do their job. That's it. They're down there playing basketball. They don't got nothing to That's do with it. what's going they on. They don't the know nothing about what's going on in the crowd. So, no, but I don't I, believe the talent. And that's what I said. That's what I thought of when I heard that. Because it's... It, I'm 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 not gonna say I'm on both sides because I'm clearly on one side, but I do understand I, I understand the other side, right? I saw I at this point we we're like four or five days removed. Right. I've seen so many videos of people running up to the front of the stage, like, yo, stop the show. Niggas is dying, bro. Like dead bodies. Yo, ah, I've I've seen the video. Tw- yo, Twitter is I love well, everybody Twitter. got a phone, so yes, so everybody has a vantage point, right? Yeah, and I'm talking about people running up with their phones up, like they're they're the first person Travis Scott can see. But you have to understand that this doesn't make sense if you're performing and your job is to put on a two hour concert. No, no, no Jay, I, I get it. You understand? I get it. I get We've it. done shows. Yes, I don't give a fuck what's going on in the crowd. I still got to perform because whatever the fuck is going on with this guy that runs up or that guy that runs up or this dude, it's still hella people here that's here to hear some music. And so I don't you... know what's going on with you, sir. I can't stop my show to every single person. It's like, hey, <laughs> my, no, no, my bro, daughter's up. My mama's having twins. No, no, Nigga, I don't know what's going on with you. Like I said, like I said, <laughs> this, this is going to be a hot topic, but I, yeah. I love the fact that we can speak so candid on it. And I love you for your point and your stance because i agree i do agree i get it i get it i just wish that he would have been more cognizant of of anything but at the same time bro i, I well, performed my with job you. to be cognizant of shit no, that's going on no, in the crowd but, but dame dame i've performed with you so i get it i we've been on that stage right with the lights in your face and you don't know who the fuck or what the fuck or where the fuck how the fuck we don't know no. We just going through our set. That's it. <laughs> Bro, I interact with you on stage more than anything because all I can see is you. For the most part. I can't see I can't see nobody else. It's me, you, the DJ, and whoever's on stage. That's all I can see. That's it. Right? So if somebody is dying in, in, in the back of the crowd, I, I don't know. So I understand. I understand that part. But like I said, I, I just for the loss of life, I wish that we can become more cognizant. I'm not well, sure. I would do something if I was can. him. Okay, fine. If I was him, I would do something for the loss of life, and I would do something. They oh, have no, money. He said he was, was going to cover all the. the I ain't the, covering um, all that shit. Fuck y'all. Um, no, you can't do that. You can't I, do me, that. Listen, I'm not giving fifty thousand people. You I'm can't do that. that, bro. It's what it's I would do though. Is, it's eight funerals. What? No, no, no. He, but, but that's I'm covering the eight funerals. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 100 percent. No, but you just said fuck that you're not doing. No, 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 no. no. I, I thought to give every single person their money back. Shit. Oh no, no. He, he's, he's doing that too. Fuck yeah. that. I'm Dave Chappelle. Listen, y'all pay, nigga. I ain't giving that money back. Nigga. Um, but I would definitely cover any. You can't do that, bro. Would, Dave no, no, Chappelle no, 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 has but, enough. Dave Chappelle has enough money to take that. I long. would cover expenses and you know things that are the actual problem. But the expenses for what though? For the people who would hurt or damage, because that's not the aim. You know, the okay. aim in the show is never to hurt somebody. Or, you know, like, sure. you come sure. to one of my shows and get hurt, and I can't afford to help, I would. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, sure. But that's just out of the courtesy of my heart. I don't owe you that. I don't owe you that. True. That's your fault you came and got hurt. Technically, I mean, I ain't, I ain't bring you. <laughs> no, no, no. Dog, I ain't bring no. you. I didn't I set that up. No damn fuck you, bro. I didn't bring you to the show. I didn't set that up. I didn't make you buy that ticket. I didn't make them people do that crazy shit. 
I didn't make nobody bust down no barricades. But no, I but, did but, none but of that. Dang, All I did dang, is say, I am dang. going to perform, bro. If okay, so y'all niggas I'm, do that. I'm, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. I'll, this. I will do my part, but that's not my fault. Dang, dang, I'm going to say this. Don't take it no way. Talk to me. You're speaking from the vantage point of someone who's never owned shit. What? What does that mean? Like I said, don't take it no way, right? And I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to double back on that. Okay. You... You yourself, I know for a fact, you and your mom, you owned a home, correct? Yeah. Cool. In Chicago, no less, right? Yeah. Cool. It snows and it's icy a lot, right? In the wintertime, yeah. <laughs> yeah, cool. So I'm, I'm, I'm not painting. Alaska, nigga. No, I got you. Go I'm painting a picture. Follow me, right? All right? You own that property. Yes. If I'm walking and it's the middle of the winter, uh-huh. And your property is not shoveled or de-iced with salt mm-hmm. on the ground, and I slip and fall in front of your property. Guess what I can do? I can sue you. Why? Because you're held liable for your shit. So what I'm saying is, you cannot sit here and say I ain't tell you to walk in front of my house. I ain't tell you it was snowing to walk outside. No, nigga, you own it. It's yours. You're but supposed to take also, care of it. It's also culpability. And what I'm saying is. The one part in those situations that makes it real is that's when they start asking you really dumb. You know how like when things like that come up and they start asking really stupid ass questions. You're like, why are the questions so stupid? It's like, because were you on the sidewalk or were you on the driveway? Were you crossing the street or was there a car? Do you but, understand? No, but, but because what, that's what, important. But then because if I'm, you, what, bruh, what I'm, because what if I'm you just flip is it, what no, I'm no, no, saying no. is no matter which way you try to slice it, if I fall in front of your property, you are held liable. No, no, no. But let me give you. But once again, and this is just. You own a house, but you don't own the the actual sidewalk in front of your property. You do, yes. I was say you're wrong. You don't own you're that wrong. sidewalk. The sidewalk, Dame, Dame. You're wrong. If I fall in front of your property and on look the at sidewalk, please, literally the actual sidewalk, Dame, in front of your property. If I fall in front of your property right now, I can sue you. Yes, you're wrong. That's what I'm trying to say. Why? So, that makes no fucking sense to me. And, but that that's why I let I, pre- I I prefaced my whole statement by saying you haven't owned something since your house, so I get it, right? But if someone is slips on ice and breaks their leg in front of your property, not on the grass, but on the sidewalk in front of your property, they can sue you. Why you didn't take care of your fucking sidewalk? So what I'm saying is that the, the culpability bullshit. It is bullshit, but it happens, right? So now this is what's happening to Travis Scott. The sidewalk was the crowd, <laughs> right? Something happened on the sidewalk. Travis Scott now has to be culpable for that. And that's what I'm saying, Dame. Well, then that, to be honest, that's just something I didn't know. You can see it on my face. I just honestly well, didn't I, know that. I, I, I'm, I, but I'm just telling you what that's it is. That's crazy to me. But, but that's life. In a, you but own in a something. Public, but, in a, but in a pub, well, he don't own the venue. And he, he don't own, own. He doesn't own the venue, but he owns the event. It's Astro World held by Travis Scott. He owns the event. So at the event, somebody got hurt. Somebody so, died. All right, I got you. So then to fix that. Yeah. Everyone signs those and what, and what, NDAs. Yeah, no, 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 no. It's a real thing. Um, and I'm telling you, as a, a professional, consider myself a professional skater. Yeah. Um, I've traveled all across the country, skating events. Mm-hmm. Been in Cali skating, been in Atlanta skating, been in whatever Chicago, New York, whatever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When you go to these events, with, upon you walking in the door, they make you sign this. Mm-hmm. Because they're like, fam, if you fall and break your leg, it's on you. It's on you. You're choosing to skate. Yeah. yeah. So moving forward, that's what we do. I'm sorry. So, so, okay. Okay. So Devil's so, Advocate here. So here's just, a fix. Just to carry the conversation, Devil's Advocate. Gotcha. You say the only concert goers are the people who sign NDAs. Yes. 50,000 people showed up last year. Word. Two thousand people show up this year because they signed the NDA. No, well then that means I got no real fans. All these niggas is trying to sue me. <laughs> no, 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 Damon heard, heard you. But are you showing up to that? Are, are you putting on that show? Mm-hmm. You're not. No, you're I not. Am. Because no, you're what not. happens is if I'm no, somebody, if I'm somebody like Travis Scott, if no, you're I'm not. somebody, no, no, no. If I'm big enough, if I'm big enough, and I'm good, if I'm good enough, and I'm great enough, right no, now you got to sign an NDA to be a groupie to fuck Chris Brown, bro. 
do, do you understand? Like when Chris Brown gets his groupies, they got to sign an NDA to be in the room. Dame, 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 I'm not going. Dame, I'm telling you, you, me, me knowing you, if you put on some shit and people's like, ah, I'm not there, you're not gonna say fuck it. I'm gonna do it anyway for my core fan. You're not doing that. No, I mean, so I fuck out of here. What, 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 no, fuck out of okay. here. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> but you, you, you're missing what I'm saying. You're missing what I'm saying. You're missing what I'm saying. I'm not talking about the size of the crowd. What I'm simply saying is, in the paperwork and when you purchase that ticket. There's an indie, you know what I'm saying? There's some shit with that. And what I'm saying is what if in the people, terms and conditions that you signed? That, yes, Dame. What I'm saying it is will be there. What I'm saying is people saw it. It's like, no, I'm not fucking with it because of that. I'm not going. You're well, not Dame, gonna say fuck it. The, the 80 of y'all who signed up, I'm gonna do a show for y'all. You're not gonna but that's do that. not gonna happen. Because number one, don't nobody read shit. They just hit the, the ticket. Terms okay, see, agreed, see. <laughs> nigga. You know that you 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 talking about some real shit, but I just don't like that shit. I don't care that you don't lie. like it. I'm talking about how you save your ass. No, no, at the I end of the day, I get it. I get it. Me as Travis it. Scott, knowing that there's mosh pits in my show, flat bitch zombies has mosh pits. Yeah, right. Yep. Flat, if I was wait, flat. Wait, 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 wait. Flat bush zombies. What I say? You said flat bitch. Oh well. I don't know who the fuck those are. I, I, I never met those people day in my life. I know a but, couple flat bitches. Ooh, ooh, ooh. But, ooh. Well, flat, flat bush zombies. Shout, shout out to them. I did. Yes. I I did a show with them. Yes. Shout out to flat bush zombies. Flat bush zombies fire. has mosh pits. If I was flat if, or or their manager, yeah, I would say, yo, when they buy these tickets, they have to hit click. Like on the terms and conditions, legally, yeah, legally. So you you slide the NBA. Because fine, you can legally. jump off the stage and do all of this, and you want you fuck around and break your neck. But it's on you, fam. I'm not liable for that. Yeah, and I get it that this is one of the first times, but I'm I'm really trying. Like it sounds harsh what I'm saying, but it's also it's in the paperwork. You want to buy this ticket for the what? You click terms and conditions. That's all you read the terms and conditions, fam. Okay, but but you see, I, I okay. I'm sorry, bro. O officially, officially, I feel like we're dragging this, but I'm gonna I'm go a step further. What I'm trying to do is get it to an answer, because no, I, but I, that's and, my, and, and, but what I'm saying is your answer. I I get your answer and I get yeah. your logic. I get I your reason. That's really my point. But, no, I I get your logic. I get your reason. I get your answer. Yeah. I get it. What I'm saying is in rebuttal to that, and that's why I said now we're gonna drag it with the rebuttal because we've been talking about this for fucking 25 minutes. Yeah, but it's the longest subject. Fuck oh, it. Man. But with the rebuttal it's like yes you said this in your statement and yes it's in the nda and yes we get it and yes it's a possibility that this may happen if this traumatizing event happens i'm not held liable but guess what it fucking happened that's right? why you do it bro no no I, I i i hear you but now that it happened and i'm pretty sure travis didn't have an nda I'm yeah pretty i'm pretty sure, sure they didn't right so now it happened it happened on your watch. You're the biggest name. I'm not saying, hit, hit, I, I hope that my stance is clear. I'm not saying that I feel like Travis Scott should pay for everything. I don't think that. I don't. But I feel like as the, the, the figurehead, the head of this whole shit, the, the fucking CEO of this, his best interest is to say, you know what? I'm going to take care of everything so that my next show and my show after that, and the show after that, people was like, you know what? Even when some tragedy happened, he took care of us, so he really cares about us. That's not, that's all I'm trying to say. I feel right, like he so, should. So it's it's a um, what would you say? It's a PR thing. I right, fine. I, I I agree with that. Fine. I, right. I feel like because because so if, if you don't, just... if you if you don't, now it's like, yo, fuck you, bro. You you did nothing. Yeah, no, I get you. Nothing. But that's why I said I would do what I do. I'm just, I'm just. I just man, it okay. Listen, I would, I would, have, it would take me and my team to discuss this, and y'all niggas would have to convince me to give every single person their money back. I'm fuck just letting you know, fuck convince. I will cuss you out, and if you it, don't, I would, saying, I would, would disassociate no, myself. But it, no, but it, for me, it would take because it, because y'all ain't. I'm not here to pay for y'all to kill each other and, and, and fuck each other up, my nigga. Like no, no, so, no but you know your saying? music. Like, your music incites that you have to you have to also remember that it's not like you up there singing gospel music no dame you but the same thing can happen what if you got some atheists in the crowd no, no dame, <laughs> oh, dame, 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 <laughs> like, dame stop it dame stop it because literally at a travis scott show he'll say yo everybody clear out 
clear out, go, clear out, clear out, clear out, clear out. And he'll stop the music for 10 minutes until he gets a big ass mosh pit, mosh pit circle. Then he'll play the record and have everybody run into the middle of the circle. So people are literally contacting each other full force, right? So let's just that. wait, wait, Dame, Dame, let me go. Let me let me just say you you created this mosh pit, right? You stopped right. the music, you said everybody back up, back up, back up, back right, up, back right, up. Right, right, right. We about to do this crazy ass mosh pit for this record so I can have it look crazy lit on my Instagram, right? Right. And then you say press play on the music, everybody runs into each other, somebody has a concussion, and now right. they die. Because well, they ran that, into but you're, okay, but you're responsible for that. That you're responsible. No, for. but what I'm saying is that's what he does. He incites oh, well, this kind of things. Well, all right, because uh, to be honest, I've never, I, I've seen, I've never seen a Travis. Bro, you, Scott you, show. you need to watch a Travis Scott show, bro. But now bro, I'm scared to watch it because I'm a die. I don't even bro, shut the fuck up. Okay? <laughs> I feel like if I watch it, I'm gonna just run into the wall. Fuck it. Ah. <laughs> no, but what, what, what I'm saying, what I'm saying is, the music does incite you to do certain all things. All right. Well, fair enough. All right. So then, all right. So and, I've already gave my answer. Feel, Once feel, again, we don't got to drag it. I've already gave my answer. Yeah. If if mm-hmm. fine, fuck it. You take this L, bro. You gotta do whatever you gotta do at this point. It is what it is. You gotta save face, right? Because you are the one, quote unquote, inciting the riot. I got it. Fine. But in the future, we gotta get this paperwork straight. No, no, get get your paperwork right. You're right. Because if your You're paperwork right. right, motherfuckers show up. They hit that terms and conditions. It's bro, on it's you. On you. It's yeah. on you. And I and I and fine. So if I was okay, fine. You, look, you you got me. You won me over. I would take the the major L this time. Because fine. No, but bro, it, it's it's a big L. It's so big that Travis Scott he canceled his next show, and he he pretty much went dark. He's like, yo, I'm 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 not here. I'm not performing no more. Yeah, but that's gonna that's gonna fail. I mean, because at some point he has to perform because he's gonna have to pay for the you know you gotta pay for shit. You, know? you gotta you gotta perform, nigga. That's I your mean, money. He should, he, yeah, he he gotta get his money. You're right. But at the same yeah. time, them terms and conditions gotta be real, dog. And I'm talking, you know, we both work legally. In, we legally. both work in certain businesses where you know them terms and conditions. You stay, sir. Yep. You you click the agree. Yep. I'm. It, yep. it might suck. How you I apologize? Feel completely right. But I apologize. I apologize. But you the one that <laughs> you <laughs> you clicked that to I did, agree, I did, sir. I did, I, did, I did not force you to press that button. You said okay. You know what I'm saying? So once you say okay, this is what happened. But and honestly, it sucks. That, that's don't nobody that's, read it. That's but, the part yo. of that's that's the part of politics and 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 procedures that I don't respect. That's the not even that I don't, don't like. I, 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 I'm not gonna say I don't like. I say I don't respect it. Because it's, it's it's underhanded, and it's backwards, and it's fucked up. One hundred percent. And like I, mean, I always thought it was interesting that you could click the button to agree with terms before you read it. Like, and then they got it to where. Remember at one point, and this is just if you notice how life went. Remember how they used to do this thing where you had to scroll through the terms to hit the like. Yeah, yep. Now you don't have to read it, but you just at least got to scroll. <laughs> I, I I go a step further. <laughs> now nowadays, a button pops up that says "Go to the bottom." So you press the bottom. It was just it will speed through everything, and now you can just press OK. You don't even read. Right. Niggas do not read the terms and conditions on. You don't anything. know what you're signing up to. It can say, "I'm gonna get your social, and I'm gonna rape your kid." You like and, what you do? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Why? Because I, because I want to order this shit from eBay. Like That's I need. It. I just like it's crazy. Yo, we need to we need to get fucking smart, bro. This technology shit is different. Okay. And, and I, I can said, slide, it. bro. Do they you know? Do, do you ahead, not go. know? You you do you not know that we can hack this system so that everybody who watches us on YouTube can give us money? instantly like we can set it up we can set it up hey baby set it up shit we fucking around bro we trying to do this shit organically bro, it, nigga fuck out of here i'm just saying i'm just saying it's it's the, the shit that you can do technology wise nowadays is insane bro insane it. all right so any last remarks on the travis scott stuff or what do you what do you like no nah, i like all, all I would like to say is I I feel so bad. My heart's 
my hearts my heart your hearts i, I got multiple hearts right <laughs> yeah, but my heart my condolences my my thoughts my prayers go out to the eight families who course, lost yeah. someone who's just going to a fucking concert like that's crazy to me um the hundreds of people that went through a traumatic experience i i i i i, I, I empathize with them Mm -hmm. You go to a concert, you you don't want to see shit like that. I feel bad for the person next to the person who lost their life. Right. Because it's like you, you just saw some shit that you can never unsee. Um, I hope we fix it. I, ho I hope we get this together. Um, at the same time, I don't want to crucify hip-hop because what they're going to do is say that hip-hop caused this shit. And, you know, the world is already mad that hip-hop is the number one genre ever. So I feel like they, they, bro, they, they don't rent us the venues. They don't give us access to the same shit that fucking I Pearl got the Jam worst got transition ever. Got. But that, that's, that's just my, that's just my mindset. I, I feel I have bad. the worst transition ever. Go ahead, brother. So the harder they fall. Wow. Yo. <laughs> I was like, oh, that is terrible. Nigga. That is so bad. So wow. <laughs> let's talk about the hard wow. they fall. I'm just gonna expect, sip my drink. I did not expect that to come. What I, what I was thinking about, was like, this is a terrible transition. Um <laughs> oh. huh. all right, I'm sorry. I do not <laughs> condone that. I don't agree with it's it. Just, it's just it, it it's so all right. Uh on Netflix, <laughs> um, there, there is uh I'm sorry. Wow, that was that was terrible. That's disgusting. Yeah, it was. I, but in my head, I'm like, it does kind of. No, um, that's so morbid, ain't it though? Um, but no, no, no. I wanted to give a few minutes to this show, um, because I just think it's it's important for the culture. Real quick, um, last week debuted the harder they fall, um, which is a black western, uh, cowboy movie. Which is incredible. How many uh black cowboy movies have you ever seen, Jay? Bro, I, I I literally just saw one with um Idris Elba the other day. Oh, oh, he had the one with the little boy. It was, it, it was in Philly. It, yeah, it was in yeah, Philly. Yeah. It, it was the first cowboys of Philly. Mm -hmm. They were black. It was a whole black community. They're still there to this day. Wow, they're still there till this day. Oh, yeah. There's, what there's was that? Really, I didn't. Uh, I didn't. See, it's, I, it's like a, a, a ten block radius in Philadelphia. Um, they have ranches mm. with horses. There is an all black community. They're just cowboys in Philly. So uh, I saw that movie. But that, so that's that was the, it so that's the, is that the first time you've seen black cowboys? Yes. Have uh, Have you ever seen black cowboys before that? I'm, and that's a real question. Like, no, I, I, I have not. I'm I, I'm sorry if I'm ignorant. I just haven't yeah, seen it. I don't know. Um, well, the first black cowboy movie I ever seen was Posse. I don't know if you remember. Do you remember Posse? Have you ever seen Posse? No, bro. But you you was born in the 1910s. It was, bro. The like, movie came out in '93. Relax. No, they came, it came out in '33, and there was no color. Three. Fucking Big Daddy Kane was in it. By the way, I. I Bro, you yeah. was 45 in 93. I don't Stop know. Stop that. Stop that. I was a kid. Um, I was, was three in 93. It was produced man. by Mario Van, People, Mario Van Peebles. And my mom was in love with him. So everything he did, she was like, he's so cute. Man, whatever. Point is, is... Um, Yo, Mario Van Peebles would have took your moms down, my nigga. Probably. <laughs> and she would have been with it. Like, nah, my mom didn't hold back. <laughs> she was like, well, shit. She'd be looking at her. <laughs> okay, I don't want to get into it. That's what my mom was <laughs> My mama tell her husband, like, well, shit. <laughs> it's Mario Van Peebles. Thank you. That's it. No, no, no. But all right. So what happens is we don't know anything about black cowboys at all. Right. And what made this movie very important um, is that uh, it's, a, it's a part of the culture of just America that's not told. Um, and what people don't know is we always get these slave stories and slave this, slave that, slave this, slave that. Right. Mm -hmm. Or. You have, you know, the stories of the people who who uh, um, come to the country, you know, the Caribbean, whatever. You right? Yeah. These are the stories, yeah. right? But you never hear the stories of what happened to the people who left slavery, beat slavery, and went west mm. and developed whole communities and states and places mm. where it wasn't as terrible as they think. 
in real life, and I only know this because I studied this shit. Uh, wait, wait a come, minute. Talk to me. Wait, talk. What's the question? Minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. And I, I'm going to be the vulnerable, ignorant one. Talk to me. I love it. Let's go. You mean to tell me that black people beat slavery and went west instead of north? And west, they were free? There was no slavery out west? No, what it was was open land. So there were a lot of escaped slaves. This is some real shit. A lot of escaped okay. slaves. And, oh, man, I don't really want to get into it really heavy because I don't have my source material. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I can't, you know. Yeah. You know how it is. Like, all right. Let me do some research and then come back and talk. But it's it's a lot of hidden stories. Like one of the hidden stories is um, the fact that the the escaped slaves will fuck with the Native Americans because Native American people low key are black people. They were just the Africans that came to this country before the rest first. of the world. They came first. Yeah, that's it. So what happened is they were able to communicate with a lot of the the, the, the escaped slaves. So it would be coalitions between the Native Americans and the black people because they're like, yo, you brown, I'm brown. What the fuck? Why, dude? What are we doing? Yeah. So they would mm -hmm. they would work together to build shit and build communities and build all type of shit in the West. And these are stories that's never heard of or never told. Bro, I, I didn't know that, huh? I didn't. F you know what it is? I, I'm going to shut up. No, no, okay. no. It's cool, bro. I didn't know the shit either. Mm -hmm. I just happened to go to college. Um, in one of my colleges, I went to Florida next. I took an African American studies class where the teacher is literally the foremost uh scholar on black cowboys. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, he's the guy, you know, like he's the dude on ESPN or, or CNN when they're like, We want to bring yeah. the foremost. It's him, <laughs> it happened to be my man. professor. Yeah. Gotcha. And, I, and and I was so excited about this because it was the one thing that I'm like, yo, I know the nigga, this this the, the nigga, the nigga, the, the, the nigga, nigga. Like I don't know, nigga, 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 right? He used to follow me on nigga. Facebook, and it was crazy because everybody was, you know, like they on his ass, like, bro, you the foremost. <laughs> what you think about the movie, fam? Like, mm. like, and then he went into, you know, fucking teachers. You know. It's not yeah. historically accurate because, yeah. like, please, like, shut up, man. We. I thought you was just gonna say you ain't let you liked it or not, bro. Like, I ain't got you. You know, he was like, Well, why would they get her from that state? It should have been he's but he's an educator, he, yeah, he knows yeah. about the real shit. But at the end of the day, man, it was just cool to see it. And there's so many stories, man, that we just it's just stuff that we don't know, and they kept it away from us on purpose because even back in the day, when you um old people shit, a lot of our grandfathers and shit, they watch cowboys and Indians, they wanted to be cowboys and all that kind of shit. They thought mm -hmm. it was cool. And it was always this like white guy cowboy, and then like the the the, the native the Indians, and they chasing yeah. them, and everybody paid you know cowboys Indian. But those stories wasn't true. A mm -hmm. lot of that stuff was the black people doing what they did. Mm -hmm. A lot of them stories is the stories of black people that's misconceived and misconstrued throughout the time. So anyway, all right, I'm done ranting. That's what the movie was. It was basically let's take all of the old characters and just put them all in one story. I, I I will say this. I'm I'm going to watch it. Um my birthday coming up, so I have a nice little vacation. I'm, I'm I I got time. I got That's time it, on nice. my hands. Yeah, I'm chilling. I'm about to watch this shit. Cause you've been talking about it extensively. Yeah. Honestly, you're you're watering it down right now. Compared oh, to what, no, you are watering it down compared to what you told me about it. Nigga, you like yeah. nigga, you ain't seen the shit, nigga. Yeah. yeah, I'm definitely watering it down, but I'm watering it down on purpose because I'm not trying to, you know, because what happens is, you know, people fuck me up on facts and it's like, OK, I don't have facts. I don't want to be that dude. Like, oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But listen, we're the, we the relationship gurus. We don't got facts, but we can tell you about some shit. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> it, right? Right? It's the shit you need to learn, though. <laughs> you know <what> I'm <laughs> <laughs> we can tell you about some shit. Yeah, but. <laughs> Yeah, so it was just cool. It was just cool to see. You know, you don't really see black, black cowboys in the, in a way that it actually looks cool. It always it's either goofy, like Wild Wild West was kind of goofy, or it's just Wild Wild West was fire. Fuck Shut you! Up. I hate that movie. Fuck you! That was a good movie. A terrible. Okay, movie. it wasn't Will Smith's best movie, but it was a even good he movie. admitted like that was trash. Like yes, no, no. Wild Wild West was a, well. I I enjoyed it. I will say that that was trash. I I was thoroughly enjoyed. 
Well, no, but, um, thoroughly entertained. So anyway, man, definitely check it out. It's some great people in it, man. Idris again, because you know he ain't everything. No, but okay. So is is it better than the 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 Idris documentary I, on Netflix? Not documentary. There was a movie on Netflix about black cowboys in Philadelphia. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Oh, let me give you one more since we just talking Netflix real quick before we go. What's up? The Colin Kaepernick Netflix show. Bro, bro, have you seen that? I I, I have not. But damn I it. Heard. No, no, no. They they were talking about it today at work. I've heard uh, that that shit is fire. It is fire. Okay, so I'm gonna watch it. I'm I was gonna, gonna ruin it. everything, but I ain't gonna ruin that. No, don't don't ruin you shit. You gotta watch it. I'm gonna watch it. I'll just say this, and this is easy because we can figure this out. It's Colin Kaepernick, a black kid growing up in a white world. Amazing. No, I'm I'm, I'm gonna watch. But it. just amazing concepts because. He was still black the whole time, and they yeah. do a good job of showing you that he was black. He, like, you know, what I'm saying he, he's just mm-hmm. a kid, and he'd just be like, "Why does it taste like this?" <laughs> just regular, <laughs> regular black people shit, like just regular black people shit. It's nah, really good, bro. Like it's good, and that's that nah. one we should be. Th- we everybody was talking about the harder they fall, which is a great also, but ain't enough people not talking about the Colin Kaepernick shit. Listen, I'm, 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 I'm gonna watch the Kyle Kaepernick shit. Um, I'm gonna watch the harder they fall. At the same time, insecure is 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 in their fucking bag. Like so, bro. Th- this, there's a lot of entertainment to watch and catch up. I'm on. telling you, and you was like, I watch a lot of TV. It's like no, it's just everything is coming back at the same time, dog. No, I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna say this. I have not watched one episode of Insecure, but, but everything is coming back. But, but by the next time we speak. I will be caught up. Trust me. I'm, I'm I'm about to binge. I'm about to binge a whole lot just so I can be caught up. Cause I feel like I'm I'm outside the culture. I don't know. I don't you be know this on the insecure shit. Like I'm bruh, outside the culture. Issa Rae was dealing with this dude for two whole seasons, and then whatever went left. Then they brought Fam back, and then Fam had an episode last week just him, and I was in it like, oh, <laughs> 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 oh, oh. Yo. This is crazy. <laughs> just his episode. It was. It wasn't nothing else. It wasn't no Issa Rae. It was just him. And I was like, oh, oh. It's it's, it's good writing. It's, it's great good. fucking writing, man. It's you got to you got to watch that, right? No, I, listen. I'm, I'm I'm gonna get caught. And up. That's all it is. It's not that I'm really into TV. It's just that all of my shows are coming back at the same time. Nah, nah nigga, you into TV? Fuck nah, you, bro. Nigga, the Wu Tang, the Insecure. No, I've seen every Wu Tang episode. That shit is fine. Insecure, and then all of the 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 the, the what is it? The Power Verse becoming. I, it's just too much. I don't like why, bro. All right, man. Let's get the anyway. fuck up out of here. All right. Well, it's been Let's a great show, bro. I enjoyed it. Um, you know what it is? To- I, I like these shows because we really could just catch up and just talk about shit that passed. Like it's, it's nothing crazy. We just catch the fuck up. How was your week? My week was cool. <laughs> what happened in your week? And we talk about it. I like Let's that shit. It. So I will see you next week, brethren. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's, it's, it's brethren. I, I was brethren. Yeah, brethren. Put brethren. a hard D in there. Bread. Oh, okay. Brethren. That's the black way to say brethren, but I get it. Yeah, we're not. We're not. I'm we're not, not brethren. I'm not Shakespeare. Brethren. <laughs> <laughs> brethren. No. <laughs> brethren. All right, Ollie, man. Peace out here, real man, gangster. Wait, I, I will say this: uh, make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. Yep. Um, do whatever you gotta do. Share right. it to uh, we we get. Yo, you know what's funny? We gotta talk to multiple different platforms at the same time, right? Yeah. So like, share, comment, subscribe. That's that's YouTube. Um, share it on Instagram, Facebook. Tag somebody. Follow. <laughs> like, it's a lot. Bro, this mad shit. But make sure you do everything. And if you don't, I hope you go to the next Travis Scott concert. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, nigga. And fall hard. No, we out. We out. (laughs) (laughs) Man, I just want to thank you so much for tuning in to Willow Wednesdays. We love and appreciate the support. If you ain't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button for the YouTube page. Big facts. Yes, yes, yes. And click the bell for notifications. Mm -hmm. And make sure to join that family page, the Willow Wednesday family page on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Peace. Wow.